In this work, we provide a reformulation of model predictive path integral control that allows for the implementation of adaptive importance sampling algorithms into the original importance sampling step of MPPI. MPPI has been demonstrated to work real time on arbitrary system dynamics, including dynamics represented by neural networks. However, as the action space grows, so does the required number of samples. This trend inspired us to explore ways to efficiently use each sample. The main idea of MPPI is to use importance sampling to estimate the optimal control. We first start with a nominal set of controls. In this car example, we are representing our controls as the resulting trajectory on the track. At the first time step, we sample a new control, and we perform this process again and again and continue until the end of our horizon. We then repeat this whole process k times, where k is the number of samples for the algorithm, and then use the trajectory cost to calculate a cost-informed weighted average of the sampled controls. The cost of each trajectory is dependent on the whole control sequence. Consider a trajectory where the car runs off the track due to subsequent right turns. However, right steer inputs near the beginning, followed by a series of left steering inputs, could have resulted in a lower cost trajectory. Using separate distributions for each control step presents a problem if we want to use the calculated trajectory cost to help inform how we might change our distributions to provide better samples. Our solution is to treat the sequence of controls as one control input with a combined covariance matrix and sample from one larger joint distribution. With no additional modifications, this process is the same as in PPI, but with the ability to include off-diagonal terms in the covariance matrix, which provides a larger class of proposal distributions. This allows us to connect the trajectory cost with a sample and then use these costs to update our distribution, and then we can resample from that new distribution. This process is a form of adaptive importance sampling. There are many AIS algorithms with different performance costs and benefits. We implemented five different AIS algorithms within Poppy for our experiments. In this work, we focus on the integration of AIS algorithms into PPI and left the investigation of specific trade-offs of different algorithms for future research. Here is a depiction of how the resulting sample controls change as the sampling distribution evolves through iterations of a cross-entropy algorithm. Note that the resulting trajectories improve with each iteration, which allows for MPOPY to be used as an anytime algorithm. Here's a summary of results simulating controlling a single car and three cars around the track. A key result to note is the increasing efficiency of the samples used and how the disparity grows going from controlling one car to three. This visualization has MPOPY using covariance matrix adaptation controlling four cars where the cars are incentivized for being close together near the middle of the track and going fast. Both algorithms are using the same number of effective samples. For a five car scenario, MPPI was only able to complete two laps in three out of 25 trials using 6,000 samples. While the CE and CMA versions of MPOPY were able to control the six cars successfully with as few as 1,500 effective samples. With Majoku Half Cheetah, both algorithms find a similar local optima that involve rolling to achieve speed. However, Mpapi is able to achieve a higher reward with a third of the samples. Performance of Majoku Ant also demonstrates a sample efficiency. The result of control is somewhat unexpected, as you can see in the bottom right video with the ant spinning, but the local optima discovered does not violate any constraints. This does highlight an attribute of MPPI-like algorithms, though. If certain actions are not desired, like spinning upside down, we can update the cost with no modification to the algorithm, as the algorithm is not dependent on the structure of the cost or dynamics functions. The MPOPI algorithm is more sample efficient and the iterative nature lends itself to an anytime approach. However, these benefits do come at a cost of a reduction in parallel capability. Lines four through 11 are the computationally heavy portions of the algorithm, where lines five through nine are similar to MPPI and can be run in parallel. So given K times L effective samples, MPPI would propagate the system dynamics in parallel for all K times L samples. However, MPOPI requires propagating K samples in parallel in L sequential steps, where the execution of the AIS algorithm must occur after each propagation of the K samples. This drawback depends on the complexity of establishing parallel computations, which is hardware, problem, and implementation specific. Despite this drawback, as the problem complexity increases, MPOPI provides an alternative approach to just simply adding more samples. Integrating AIS algorithms also opens up many areas for future work. As I previously mentioned, there are numerous AIS algorithms. Some of those algorithms involve using multiple proposal distributions. 
A way to get full parallelization back while still using AIS techniques would be to integrate these AIS algorithms where you can propagate the system dynamics of the samples from each proposal distribution in parallel. Another potential extension is to reuse the full updated distribution to warm start and poppy at the next time step. Instead of rolling over just the mean, we could roll, roll over the full distribution and potentially increase convergence and not need L updates in subsequent steps. We think the modification to adjust the proposal distribution to increase the efficiency and quality of the samples used is a promising change to an already high-performing control algorithm. Please reference our GitHub repository in the paper for more information on Mpapi and details of the experiments.